Hi guys, welcome to the price action analysis video of the 6th of April 2022. And let's start analyzing Nifty today. Okay, Nifty opened with this green candle. It was a strong green candle. When you see such a candle, what does this candle tell you? It tells us that it is a long wick candle, first thing. Second thing is it has a small body. This was the small body it had. And it has a very small wick on the top. Now that wick on the top is so small that it's insignificant frankly because the entire body is very strong. What does this candle show us? That the sellers had in initially tried to push the candle down to the S2 level and then from the S2 level the buyers completely overcame the sellers and the buyers pushed the price upwards and eventually ended the candle in green that was in the first 5 minute session. And then the why it is a, is it an important candle because the support was given exactly by the S2 pivot. Second candle you can see is a reverse candle. So what does this candle suggest? Although the body is green but it is a very small sort of body and it has a very long wick on the top. Now what does this tell us? This tells us that there are a lot of strong sellers sitting at the S1 pivot. So we can see here that there are buyers here and there are sellers here. So buyers are not allowing price to break the S2 pivot and sellers are not allowing price to break the S1 pivot. So the price kept bouncing between the S1 and the S2 today. You can see that the day's tone was set by the very first and the second candle itself. So what happens here is the buyers press the price upwards here right up to S1 then at the S1 pivot the sellers become active they push the price down the price slightly bounces and then again pushes itself down then here in this candle the uh, S2 pivot is convincingly broken actually it is broken here but here in this candle what is the time here it is 10 35 am it is convincingly broken with a very large candle and then you could see that there was a gap here this is the upper border of the gap right here where price took support and usually it is seen that whenever price comes to the borders of a gap that border will provide certain support or a certain resistance depending on wherever the price is approaching it from and that is exactly what happened so the 10 40 am candle bounced the price off from there then price made a major bounce and went right up to the s1 pivot and again you could see that that there was pressure at the s2 uh, sorry the s1 pivot so you can see that right from the S2 pivot which was broken here in this area price broke it as a resistance also in this area here and then the price was pushed up to the S1 pivot and then at 12.45 pm price reversed again from the S1 pivot and as you could see that it fell back towards the S2 pivot broke it again from the top side here and then it again rested at the same place where it had bounced from initially. So you can see how bounce is predictable. But then the next bounce was not so high. It just went up to here and then it fell again. Then it came up again and then it was pushed again. And again this time the price went a little bit deeper. But then you knew that we had already marked this area here. And you can see that this area is the demand zone that we had marked so the price was finding it difficult to break that zone today it was the upper border of the gap as well as the demand zone there the demand zone was coming from the 4th of april and you could see that price was taking support exactly at that demand zone so from this you can understand price action it was a fairly sideways day now you can see how much was the bounce from here Let's measure the bounce if we consider this low, initial low, to the high here, the bounce was around 117 points and you could see that the price had actually fallen the same amount of points here. You could see that price had fallen around 119 to 120 points in the initial part of the day. So literally the price was just pushed between the S2 and the S1 pivot today for the most part of the day and then you could see that you had the demand zone on the bottom also. So there was no real trend in the price today. Such days are 
absolutely sideways days and you cannot really find any entries on such days the most powerful entries are found around the pdh and pdl okay but today that was not going to happen price opened outside the s1 so uh, these are not the areas where usually trades are found price after it took resistance here uh, one thing was for sure that it was going to fall there after this particular pattern you can see here that this is an area which we had marked prior see from uh, 4th of april if you had seen that price action analysis video i had said that this area will be important whenever price comes to it again and you can see that after marking that area price had not really come there yesterday that is on the 5th of april but today when the price approaches it from the bottom now that area acts as a strong resistance so initially that what was the support has now become resistance and twice the price has taken pressure from that area and fallen so you can see the type of selling that you can uh, you experience today from an area which in which you had previously experienced buying let's measure this bounce today we'll see how and why it is important to mark all these zones that we mark every day see 180 points price had bounced that day that was on the 4th and now you can you could see that price actually fell around 170 to 120 points that we just measured okay now based on this sort of price action let's see what kind of levels we have so first thing is that we should reduce this gap now it has been very slightly filled we will uh, delete this box also although price had, has not been able to break below that range but we will mark a level here now and we will keep that level ready whenever price comes to it again we can actually shift the level up also a little bit and we can make a box a zone there and you could see that this level has acted as an important resistance again we'll just arrange or manage that level a little bit yes the level being 17894 and the upper level being 17901 and today price has a virgin cpr on the top so let's mark that virgin cpr today okay we will extend this zone forward okay we had marked that zone coming from the previous days that is 4th and 5th of april so price hasn't come to that level yet okay there's one important level that i see right there which is at the level of around 17842 but then again we see that the level is very close to the cpr here so it's fine if we don't really mark that area okay given uh, this price action now i think we are done with marking the levels for nifty let's head over to bank nifty now what do we have in bank nifty today okay bank nifty was also as flat as nifty was no real trend in the day you could see here that this was the previous day low here and after that you could see that bank nifty opened with a red candle and although it had a wick on the bottom this wick is a buyer's wick but the body is red okay and but then here it had actually taken resistance uh, resistance at the s1 pivot you can see the label here and the s1 pivot was exactly at this level right here and then you could see that the second candle was also showing sharp resistance at the same level but it was actually the 9 30 am candle that broke upwards towards the previous day's range and but it could not break the high that was made by the 9 20 am candle and so that second candle really had no meaning sorry the 9 40 am candle really had no 9 30 am candle really had no meaning and so after that price went up here it took resistance again and it fell again and here price took support it got some support at this level and then you could see that for the entire session afterwards price did not really come back to that level again in spite of there being a strong support at this level and in spite of this particular strong green candle 
and in spite of the fact that let me just mark the high of the day yes so in spite of the fact that this candle broke through the high of the day there was such strong selling on coming from top that buyers could not sustain that selling and from there price was pushed back again but then of course buyers were there below it so as i said uh, buyers and sellers just keep knocking the price from one to the other in during such days and although nifty was coming to the s2 pivot at least bank nifty has not been able to come to the s2 pivot also so the buyers have been strong today they have been applying enough strength to keep the price upwards and uh, although selling also has been strong but buyers have not been giving in today at all okay so let's observe the next day's level as of today we'll reduce this cap now we will delete this box here and we will pull this line further so the gap has been reduced more than it has been reduced in nifty we will put a mark here and now we can see that there is a small gap here also on the top so that is starting from the previous day that is the uh, 5th april low up to the for today's high there is another gap on the top now now we will also mark the virgin cpr very wide cpr that so whenever price comes to that area just be careful price has traded within a particular zone today and that zone has not been broken so we'll mark a ray here so we know that we are taking into consideration all these candles here we saw that this is a strong demand zone here and you could also mark an area out here so that's a zone that you can mark and you already have the r1 pivot and the pdh today but we are still marking that zone because if price or gaps up or gaps down tomorrow and if this level is uh, left open then we should understand or we should know that this day the price did face resistance at this level so that is why we are drawing that level now for tomorrow's session the r1 or the d and the dh are right there but still we will keep that level ready for the next consecutive few trading sessions we have all of the levels marked coming from prior price action so you can simply just pull those levels ahead and then you can take the your trades accordingly depending on what kind of price action you see i have been posting these levels daily to twitter so i hope you're finding that useful if you are please comment in the comment section below and if you have liked the video then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified each time i post a new video thank you for watching this one guys i'll see you in the next one